Hello and welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. I'm your host, of course, Willow Riley, coming back at you with a new video. So in this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about Virgo rising. What does it mean when your rising sign is in the sign of Virgo? So what is your rising sign? Your rising sign is the sign that was rising on the eastern horizon the minute you were born. So that means it was in Virgo if you're Virgo rising. So what is Virgo ruled by? Virgo ruled by is ruled by Mercury, which is the sign of communication. It's a sign of higher focus by higher thinking. And the difference between Virgo and Pisces is Pisces is very imaginative. It's ruled by Neptune. It's the opposite of Virgo. So it's very like, I want to do this with my life. I have big dreams. I have big goals, but I'm kind of just going to go with the flow and whatever happens, happens. But Virgo, on the other hand, they have a goal and they set it and they do what needs to be done to get there. They're very analytical. They're very detail oriented. They're very specific. It's about the little things with Virgo. Virgo. So Virgo, they will set a goal and they will say, I need to take this step of action. I need to fill out this type of paperwork. I need to do this, 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 A, B, and C in order to get to the end goal. So Virgos are very good at finishing things. The only thing I would say with Virgo rising is because you have Gemini in your chart, sometimes it's hard. It's easy to start things, but it's hard to finish them. So Virgo's purpose, a Virgo rising's purpose is to find one thing and stick to it till you get to the end goal, right? Because it's all well and fun to start something, but if you never finish it, you're not gonna get anywhere and people aren't gonna see your projects. People aren't gonna see your creativity. Another thing for Virgo Risings is their 12th house is in the sign of Leo. So on a subconscious level, they want to be in the spotlight. They want to be seen. They want to be heard. And Leo is all about the sun. It's all about creativity, confidence, creating something to be seen in the world. It's the arts, it's theater, it's acting, it's uh, writing as well. So with a Virgo Rising on a subconscious level you guys do want to create something and you guys are very creative and you want something to be seen by an audience and heard and appreciated so if you indulge more in your creativity as a virgo rising you're going to see that you're going to have a lot of success with this because you have leo in your 12th house so uh the seventh house if you're a Virgo rising is in Pisces. So you're going to attract a lot of spiritual people, a lot of people that are deep into spirituality. And so you can learn from them because Virgo is very grounded and scientific. Sometimes they don't really listen to people that are spiritual and they kind of wave it off. Like there's no facts to back that up, right? But because they have their seventh house in Pisces, they're going to attract very spiritual people and they have a lot to learn from them. So the ninth house in Virgo rising is in Taurus. Taurus is also an earth sign. Virgo has a lot to learn from Taurus because ter Taurus, pardon me, Taurus is ruled by the planet Venus. And Venus is all about self-indulging. It's beauty. It's about appreciating the beauty around us and diving into it. It's about enjoying life. It's about rest, relaxation. So Virgos, they can be very on the go and very a part of this journey. Like, let's keep it moving forward. But they don't take time to stop and smell the roses. And Taurus does that all the time. So with, with Taurus being in your ninth house as Virgo rising, uh, you can take some time to it enjoy yourself take some time to enjoy all that hard work that you put in you know have some self-care because you have leo in your 12th house you're also seen as royal you want to be seen as royalty you want people to treat you in a certain way the thing i would see, say about virgo risings is you guys kind of hyper focus on creating something that but you want it to be perfect so you're not going to put it out there to the people yet so kind of let go of perfectionism and know when to put the paintbrush down so you can put your your art out there in the world to be appreciated by everyone else so that's what i have on virgo risings let me know how, if you like this video if you want to see part two if you're a virgo rising drop a comment below and shout out to aaron for suggesting this video thanks guys bye